Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. For Virgo, please. For Virgo in love regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Tell me about what's going on between Virgo and their person, Spirit. What's going on between Virgo and their person? Five of Cups, reverse. What's going on in this connection? Oh, I got a lot. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, reverse. Queen of Cups, reverse, wants to show herself. Eight of, yeah, see what I'm saying? There's like, it has not been good. Something's not working in your connection. I feel like there's been a loss, possibly a financial loss. Emotionally, it's been stressful. I just picked up this small deck and there's a Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It has just not been an easy, and I've been picking that up since I started this reading for you. It hasn't been easy for Virgos. And I think a lot of it has to do with love and possibly there's career changes too. But look at the cards that I'm like, every time I'm shuffling, I see something like the Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Now Temperance does show up and the Six of Pentacles did show up too while I was shuffling. So I feel like there's a rebalancing happening. Okay, for Virgo. Let's start with this Eight of Pentacles reverse. I'm curious what this is about because this is something that's not working. This is someone that's unable to put an effort or time into something or is unable to focus or see something through. Doesn't want to put in the work as well. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles reverse. But I'm picking up almost like Seven of Pentacles reverse energy. It's like you've been putting in work, but it hasn't led to something. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles reverse. I'm still like really distracted. I can't focus. <laughs> I feel like maybe um, Virgo, your mind has been pulled in different directions. Like I'm literally picturing you being pulled in two directions. Two of Pentacles here. I feel it's about action, taking some sort of action. Like you're not sure. Maybe one day you want to take action. The other day you don't know what action to take. Um, cause I'm, I'm feeling very like scattered. This could be about work. Three of pentacles at the bottom here. This could be about a connection, like things not working in a connection, not being able to work with someone. I feel like you want to take action here with the knight of wands. You want to maybe you or someone else, by the way, because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here, but I feel like for some reason, this is you Virgo. It's like, it's like you want to take action or move towards something, but it's not working out or you can't focus. What's this Knight of, Knight of Wands about? What's this Knight of Wands about? Red. Red is important. Why is red important? Six of Pentacles. The color red, action, passion, energy. Red is about action, passion, energy, force. I feel like uh, for the Virgos that I'm talking to, you've lost action or passion towards something. I think you're trying to find it again. But it's really hard because some of you could be depressed. Some of you could be feeling bad about yourself, bad about where you were at, because things are not working out. Here's the emperor. I feel like you want to take charge. It's like maybe you feel this pull towards changing your circumstances. What is going on? Finding this balance, making things balanced. 
feel like you're trying, but it's not working. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles reverse, or maybe it's just delayed. Why is it Ace of Pentacles reverse? Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Okay, there's something you need to see. Yeah. Ace of Swords, the Tower, and the King of Swords. This is very, like, in your face, communication, information, clarity. There's the Seven of Pentacles. Something has happened here. A Tower and the Ace of Swords. I feel like a Tower has happened um, in your life, maybe re in a connection. Um, and I think it woke you up to something or you realize the truth about something. You're not ignorant of something anymore. This is in your face. This could have been a shocking truth, an unexpected message. This could have been something that changed a lot for you because yeah, it's, it's, the towers are not easy and I'm picking up an energy here of someone who's not who's like stuck in a bad situation or stuck in a situation where they can't progress forward or move forward. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's, it's very heartbreaking for someone. Tell me about the queen of cups reverse and the five of cups reverse. What's this about? Strength, Leo energy. Tell me more about the queen of cups reverse spirit and the five of cups reverse. Yeah, you're trying to be strong, but you're stuck mentally. Eight of Swords, strength. I feel like you're trying to break free and maybe use your inner strength to do this. But I think your head is ever, like your head is just um your mind, I guess I should say, is plagued. It's like you have a lot on your mind. And I mean, I I honestly am struggling to still like focus on this reading, which is kind of strange because you're the first reading I do today. I had my coffee. <laughs> I'm alert. <laughs> I had a good night's rest. You know, like I should not be the way that I am. I mean, I, I am stressed out about other things, but usually they don't affect my readings because I kind of um, mentally block other things to focus on what I'm doing. But here's temperance again. Temperance and Six of Pentacles. Very important energy. Sagittarius energy here. I think there is a goal that you have in mind to resolve a problem and i don't know if this is you your person that are trying to work together or figure out a problem but i feel even though this is what's going on in your connection at this time i feel one person is here not two it's almost like you're focused on what to do about your connection or about where you are in regards to love and the other person doesn't really come into play it's like you're thinking about them, but they're, I don't know why they're not here. I don't sense two energies here, which I usually do. There's the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's something you're maybe hiding from someone or realizing on your own. Um, this Ace of Swords, King of Swords with the tower, it's like you're dealing with something on your own. So I have a feeling that maybe the other person is the one that you learn something about or you have to make a decision about. This is very interesting. I'm not sure what's really happening here. We're gonna break this down um, a little bit further because I'm gonna look at both of your energies separately now. And um, feel free to flip the energies, you know, if they resonate more for you, because I'm going to have you on one side and this person you're dealing with on the other. So let's see what comes up because they're not showing up here. Let me pick some oracles first. Spirit, can we get some insight for Virgo? Tell us about the energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about the energies between Virgo and this other person. What is Virgo thinking, feeling when it comes to this person's connection? Past life, you've had a connection with this person in the past. Okay, there's history here. Tell me about the person Virgo is dealing with. What are their energies towards this connection? The person that Virgo is dealing with, what are their energies in this connection? Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic. 
a judgment call is being made. Okay, let me get one more. Let me get a kipper. What else do you need to know, Spirit, regarding this connection between Virgo and this other person? What else do you need to know? Tell me more about Virgo. What do we need to know? Courtship. So this is the beginning of something, the beginning of a connection. Oh, okay. Could you be interested in someone new? Someone from the past? Beginning something with someone from the past, main female, okay. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with. What are their energies? What's going on for them? I don't know why I can't shuffle this deck. What's going on for this person that Virgo is dealing with? Judication. Okay, they're making some sort of um, decision and taking their time making this decision. Thief at the bottom of the deck. This decision is in their best interest or appears to be solely benefiting them perhaps here. They might be trying to take advantage or, or come out on top. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing, but that's what I'm picking up. Now you, on the other hand, courtship is a card about like the beginning stages of something, the early stages of something, um, typically a connection. And then we have a feminine energy here, main female. So I'm wondering, you know, with past life here, if there is the beginning stages of a connection happening here where a feminine energy is important. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Some of you, let me get another one before I say that, before I jump into that whole situation. Can I get one more, please? One more energy for uh, Virgo and this other person. I wanted to say Scorpio. Why do I want to say Scorpio? I don't see any. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know for Virgo? What is Virgo's energy? I hope I haven't been saying Scorpio. <laughs> because uh, I just realized that I wanted to say Scorpio really badly. Like, okay. Anyways, tell me more about Virgo's energy. What do we need to know about Virgo's energy? I regret what happened. I'm taking a risk. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, you've been affected by what's going on. Uh, taking a risk perhaps towards something new. Because there, I feel like a tower happened between you and this person. Tell me about Virgo's person. What do we need to know about Virgo's person? I miss you. Okay, what do you need to know about Virgo's person? I'm not giving up. Okay. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, interesting. I I wonder why you both have regrets. I feel like you regret something for a different reason, though. You're heartbroken dealing with the situation. They are missing you, which tells me they probably don't have the same access they used to have. Um, or have a reason to miss you, right? That they're, they're not together. They're not giving up though. So I feel like their decision's probably tied to trying to fix the situation with you. Whereas for you, I feel like you're taking a risk towards something new. And I think it might be regarding love. Very interesting. Let's see. Can I get some insight for Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? What is Virgo thinking, feeling? when it comes to this person, this connection. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. It's a very Virgo thing to, to be thinking about. I feel like you wanna do things right. It's very important to follow the rules, follow what's expected of you, Page of Cups. Maybe you are waiting for this apology, expecting some sort of an apology. But I don't know, Virgo, this could be, ah, Queen of Swords Reverse. Be careful, because I feel like this Queen of Swords Reverse could be somebody that's deceiving you, or you could be deceiving yourself. And I think you need to wake up to this with judgment, or at least realize this with judgment. 
I think this page of cups with the Hierophant is kind of making me think that something is being offered to you that looks good on the outside or appears to be the right thing to do. Why is... Okay, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Emotional Fulfillment, Satisfaction. Okay, well, I don't know why they wanted to show. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a person that's married or you might be married. Why is my deck <laughs> acting up? Okay, tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. What's going on here with the Queen of Swords reverse? Okay, okay, see? Now I'm starting to see this a little bit differently. I feel like you might be deceiving yourself or deceiving, someone's deceiving you to get something that they want. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords reverse. Justice, Libra energy. Another card about balance coming out. Tell me more about Queen of Swords reverse. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you're, you're gonna be offered something and I feel like it's through a message But be very careful because someone is, they have a goal in mind. I'm starting to wonder if it's this person. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? I feel like you want things to work out. And that might blind you. There you are. Virgo, the Hermit, Three of Cups, Three of Wands, yeah. I feel like you're waiting for things to improve, but this Three of Cups is making me pause. You might be waiting for this person to make things right with you, but be very careful, because I don't trust this Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Page of Cups. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. I mean, another thing I'm seeing here is some sort of a reunion with, I feel, the past because I have past life, courtship, three of wands, kind of like waiting to reunite. And this person, yeah, this person might be uh, coming in to avoid that or, or prevent that. The lovers and the six of swords with the page of cups. Okay, I'm starting to think that there's a third party situation here, but it's not on their side. I mean, it could have been in the past, but it's not what's happening right now, if that makes sense. I feel like you might be interested in someone else. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Two of Wands. Hmm... Yeah, this is like a whole other path. I'm, I'm almost picturing you not going back to the, again, the High Priestess. Yeah, Seven of Cups. I think you're not really sure, but it's almost like you're being in, in, intuitively pulled towards a different direction. And I don't know if it's because you already have someone in mind from the past or someone you already know or you have met, or if it's just like in general, like someone that you're imagining for your future, right? It could be someone you haven't met, but you have an idea about, if that makes sense. So I think this person's going to come in to try to rebalance things. This person's not giving up. I feel like they're not giving up because they probably tried and it didn't work. So they're going to keep trying. You're thinking about something secretly the hermit, the high priestess. I feel like in your mind, you want uh, the higher font or and the ten of cups. So you want something that is solid, stable, grounded, and emotionally fulfilling. And I think that's why you're taking a risk here. I think when, when I see I regret what happened, I think some of you are regretting that you were even in this position in the first place, in this position to be heartbroken. Tell me if that resonates in the comments, because I feel like, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't pick up that you are really, excuse me, interested in this Knight of Pentacles. Like when it comes in, it might make you doubt or question what you're really going to do, but it's not because you are interested in this offer it's for another reason <clears throat> and 
And there's something with this offer you need to be careful about still. You know, be careful because I feel like there's something that you're, you don't know about this offer. Or there's something that something someone's not telling you. I think you're following your intuition here. And secretly, it's like maybe this is something you've kept to yourself and you haven't really told other people that you're thinking about going in a new direction. Tell me about Virgo's person. What do we need to know about this person's energies? There's the Eight of Cups again. There's something here with departure, and that's been a common theme for Virgo readings recently. There's something about a departure that's happening. And that's why I was talking about transitions earlier in this video. Like, there's changes happening. Tell me about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? Three of Wands reverse. What do we need to know about this person's energies? Now, this person has like a judgment call to make, some sort of decision to make that they haven't made. Because judication is like waiting for the outcome of something. Waiting for... Uh, a decision to be made. Um, Nine of Swords. Okay, what else do we need to know about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with? Four of Swords. This person is freaking out. Honestly, they're trying. They're trying to um, not worry so much, but I think that they are. It's like they're worried because something's not happening. Either communication is not happening or you're not reacting in the way they thought and it's worrying them. Now I have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like this reunion or coming together uh, of you both here is not really happening because I have it here with the four of swords. Let's see if I can get one more. Can I get one more for this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with spirit? What else do we need to know? about this person's energies six of wands they're very hopeful for success but i have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck here so once again these are two very opposite energies they might hope for success desire success but maybe this all ends up in like more drama or more difficulty here So let's clarify their energies here for Virgo. Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, this, this person is hoping for things to work out in their favor. But something's not happening quickly enough for this person or they're becoming impatient. They don't want to wait for something because the Three of Wands is reversed. So I feel like they've been waiting for something but it hasn't really worked out in their favor. And that's why they're starting to get worried here with the Nine of Swords. Why is the Three of Wands reversed? What's this about, Spirit? What's this Three of Wands reversed about? Why is the Three of Wands reversed? Ten of Wands, yep. So this person is really becoming overwhelmed or stressed with what's happening. Tell me about the Three, or what's not happening, I guess I should say. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Yep, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. They're not dealing with it well. And Two of Cups here. I feel like this person is going to be very um, resistant to letting go of you or this connection. It's like I'm not giving up, but it's almost like a threat. <laughs> like uh, I'm not walking away from this um, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how... You know, the situation doesn't seem to be going in my favor. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. And, you know, I feel like this person could have caused a tower or participated in this tower that happened. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. King of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Now, this King of Swords is you. I can tell you that right now. Four of Pentacles, King of Swords. You found something out. I feel like you you have some sort of knowledge that this person was holding on to or trying to keep buried. That's the word I heard, buried. They didn't want you to know this, but you found it out. Yeah, the moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. You found out something. They're worried about that. 
because I feel <laughs> it made it worse for this person. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? King of Pentacles shows up again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Queen of Wands. Interesting. I, I'm picking up the same energy I was picking up earlier. There's the Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. There's three people here. There's the higher font. There's something here with marriage. There's the Eight of Pentacles. There's something here with, with marriage. Someone's either in a long-term commitment or married. I think this person, interesting. Okay, can I get one more, please, for the Queen of Wands, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Can I get a clear? Death, Scorpio energy, yep. Okay. I was trying to get some clarity here with the Queen of Wands, King of Cups, and King of Pentacles um, on, like, is this a third party? What is this three people? What's going on here? Now, when I see death, which is a card of, you know, sign of Scorpio, but a card about change and transformation, I'm starting to think that this is someone that wants to change the outcome of this. And so perhaps they're bringing in different traits character traits or something like that to fix the situation yeah six of pentacles two of swords i think i think this person you're dealing with does not want you just they don't want this to end tell me more about death it's like they don't want things to change. And this is something that you had in the reading right before this one. Tell me about death. There's a resistance to ending things. Yeah, Seven of Swords comes up because they're not doing this in your best interest, I feel. I think this could be somebody that benefited from being with you in some way, Virgo. In a marriage, perhaps, or financially, or at least they looked really good on the outside. It helped them with their social status or um, it helped them look good or maybe ending things with you will make them look bad. Something like that. Because they're resorting to this. Seven of Swords, to, uh, Death. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. Can I get one more for this Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands? And I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but I feel like this person is stressing you out. They're complicating things for you. They're making it worse for you. And it could be that they have good intentions. Let's see. But I think that in, at the end of the day, instead of that six of wands. Oh, I forgot this card here. Instead of the six of wands, they're, getting, they're creating a five of wands. Do you know what I mean? What is this person's true intentions towards Virgo? What are their true intentions towards Virgo? What are their true intentions towards Virgo spirit? Cheetah and mouse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, fire ant, which is kind of like that five of wands. This is um, aggression, conflict. This is tempers flaring. Um, problems the fire ant the cheetah is kind of like the knight of wands it's someone that takes action moves quickly wants to kind of go towards long distances very quickly and the mouse is a very nervous detail-oriented energy this is someone that overthinks over analyzes um, is a nervous wreck half the time they try to you know do too much or at least they try to distract themselves with doing things um, i feel like this person is super anxious this is like the nine of swords here super anxious because they want to take action they want something to change they want things to go their way but once again it's just going to cause more drama and there's the phoenix which is kind of like the death card transformation another card about transformation i feel what's happening here virgo 
is that you are going through a transformation in your life that no one can stop. There's no circumstance, no person, no decision that will stop this phoenix from happening. Let me look at the phoenix meaning once again. This is one of my favorite cards of this deck. It's a um, spiritual card. Freedom from suffering and past karma reincarnation. The phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. 